Hey guys, Tom here from the Investing with Tom YouTube channel. Welcome back to the channel. If you enjoyed today's video, hit like, hit subscribe, and that way you can see future videos as well. So the most popular video on this YouTube channel is me going through evaluation of Apple and walking through how I would calculate the intrinsic value of that company and figure out a price at which I would buy those shares. So uh, one of the most common questions I got in the comment section of that video was how do I actually apply that valuation method to a company? Company that's not profitable yet. So how do I value say Uber or Tesla or some company that's not yet profitable but which you might really like and really want to invest in but you just have no idea how to calculate what the company's actually worth. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to dive into an intrinsic value calculation of Uber. Uh, but before we do that, I just want to give you uh, a couple of caveats and a couple of reasons why you may or may not want to even go down this track in the first place. So as a general rule of thumb, I don't invest in unprofitable companies. There are a huge number of companies out there in the world and we really don't have to invest in unprofitable companies at all to, to make good returns. If we can find profitable companies and we look at enough so that we can find a handful that are undervalued to a significant extent, or we can keep adding great companies to our watch list over time and just keep an eye on the price until they get to a reasonable price, we can do pretty well. We really don't have to dive into the unprofitable, highly risky companies that have a potential to go to zero. We can most of the time stick with profitable businesses and we can do quite well. So that's the first thing I just wanna say. Um, the second thing I wanna say is if you do want to invest in one of these new unprofitable companies, uh, you really have to consider two things. So first off, if you don't think it's ever gonna reach profitability, uh, it by definition has an, has an intrinsic value of zero. So the intrinsic value of any business is the amount of cash that that business can return to you discounted at an, at an appropriate rate. In other words, uh, working backwards in terms of what kind of return you want to actually make from that investment. Uh, that's the value of any business. And if that business never has positive cash flows or positive earnings, that business has an intrinsic value of zero. So you should not be investing in that kind of company. Uh, the second thing is if you do believe the company is going to reach profitability, you have to really have a good handle on when you think that's going to be and how much profit there is going to be. Uh, and something that sort of ties in with that is with any valuation at all, you're going to be wrong. There's a saying out there that all models are wrong, but some models are useful. And that's really applicable to any business, but in particular, unprofitable businesses, where we're going to have, we're just flat out going to be wrong in terms of what we think it's going to earn in the future. So um, if you do go ahead and buy an unprofitable business, make sure you're confident on when you think it's going to reach profitability and how profitable it's going to be. And then always make sure you buy with the margin of safety. So if we calculate an intrinsic value for that business, buy it for substantially less than that uh, and give yourself some protection in that investment. Give yourself a chance to, you know, eliminate as much as you possibly can the potential for permanent loss of your money and increase the chance for a rate of return that is very high. And we can do that by buying things for less than they are worth. So um, without further ado, let's get into it. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you do, hit like, hit subscribe. Um, but for now, let's get into it. Okay, so we're over at the computer now, and the method we're going to use today for valuing Uber stock, for valuing this unprofitable business, is going to be essentially an adapted version of what Phil Town uses in his book, Rule 1. So uh, this is what Phil Town calls the margin of safety calculator. In this example, we've, we've modified it slightly to account for the fact that this is not a profitable business. Um, so let's run through that. First off, I'll just quickly talk through each of the um, inputs that you're going to have to put here. So the first one is this MARR, which stands for Minimum Acceptable Rate of Return, uh, and we've got 15%. That's essentially just a blanket figure that Phil Town uses across all his valuations. He wants at least a 15% return per year. Uh, so that's what I've chosen to use here. The second one is the growth rate. And importantly, this is the growth rate of Uber after 2025. So typically when you run this valuation, this would be from today up until uh, the end point of the, the kind of valuation. So on this example, I've got 
2019 to 2025. For today, we want to know what the growth rate is likely to be uh, still uh, sort of at 2025 and what it's expected to be moving forward after that. And the reason for um, wanting to look at that period of time is essentially we're trying to figure out what Uber is likely to be worth in 2025. And what it's worth in 2025 is going to be highly dependent on what uh, the general sort of investing community thinks that Uber is going to grow at moving through to, say, 2030 or even further into the future. So in this example, I'm just going to use 15%. Uh, the next one is a PE ratio. So uh, typically at this stage, I would go back and look at what the PE ratio history looks like for an underlying company. For Uber, again, they're not yet profitable, so they don't have any PE ratio history. Um, so a good rule of thumb in situations like that is simply to use two times the growth rate. So you're going to multiply this 15% times two, and actually times 200 because that's a percentage, and that will give me a PE of 30. And the last bit of information I've got here is margin of safety. So this one is always important, um, but it's extremely um, important in valuing this type of company. So basically what margin of safety means is as value investors, we only want to buy shares in a company where we think it's trading for dramatically less than the business is intrinsically worth. So if we do this valuation assessment of Uber and Uber shares, um, you know, come out at say $40 per share, we only want to buy into Uber when they're trading at $20 per share. We want a big discount to intrinsic value, and that does a couple of things. So firstly, uh, it, offers us, it offers us that margin of safety, which means if we're wrong in terms of when we think Uber will reach profitability or the rate that it'll grow at, um, there's room for errors for us. So if we buy something for half price, Things don't have to go quite as well as we'd initially planned, and we can often, um, first off, not lose money, and we can often even still get a decent return if we can buy it for that big 50% margin of safety. And if we are right and it does reach the value that we expect in 2025, we can also get a much greater return because uh, if something is worth $30 per share and it grows to $60 per share, as, as an example, then we've doubled our money. But if we buy it for $15 per share and it still grows to 60, then we've multiplied our money four times over. So um, that's the reason that we use margin safety and it's gonna be even more important for a business like Uber today. So the next section we've got laid out here is a timeline. So I'm going from 2019 to 2025. You can really use any period of time that you want. Uh, I've chosen to go to 2025 because it looks like if things go according to plan, that is around about where the company will reach profitability. It's around 2025. Um, the next thing I've got here is the valuation and the margin of safety. You'll see those things come in later. So um, the point where this really differs from valuing a profitable company is basically we're going to jump right through to 2025. And the big piece of information that is uh, that makes these valuations really tricky and uh, requires a lot of research is that in order to come up with a valuation for Uber, we're going to have to make an estimate of what we think the earnings per share will be in 2025. So I'm going to put up a screenshot here with some analyst estimates of what uh, they expect the business to do in terms of earnings per share, and that goes up to around 2023. Uh, I'm going to do a bit of extrapolation here, which is dangerous uh, in a lot of ways, but uh, I think it will serve as a useful example. I'm going to estimate that Uber can earn around $2 per share in 2025. Don't take that as my actual recommendation. I'm, I'm simply just using this for example purposes. So now that we've got an estimate for Uber of $2 uh, per share in earnings, we can multiply that by our PE ratio. So if I go equals, uh, this two dollars and we multiply that by 30 that gives us an intrinsic value in 2025 not today but in 2025 of 60 dollars per share so the next thing we need to do is simply work backwards and figure out okay if something's going to be worth 60 dollars in 2025 and i want to make a 15 percent return per year what do i have to pay today to get that and the way that we're going to work that out is by going equals the $60. 
then we're going to divide that by one in brackets plus our minimum acceptable rate of return and if we hit f4 on that it'll lock that cell in and then we'll close the brackets so it's essentially just dividing that by 1.15 that lands us on 52 dollars in 2024 and then we can drag that right the way back to 2019 which gives us an intrinsic value today of just under 26 dollars assuming that uber can get to that two dollar uh, earnings per share in the future so uh, that's the intrinsic value that I've come up with for, for Uber today. The final step, which is extremely important, is since we're almost guaranteed to be wrong on this valuation because our estimate of $2 in terms of earnings per share is unlikely to be exactly right. Uh, 2025 is still a long time away. And when you've got a very unpredictable uh, financial life of a business like Uber, uh, we're almost guaranteed to be wrong. So we really want to use the margin of safety here. And that's our final step. So I'm going to multiply this value, this uh, 2019 intrinsic value, um, by our margin safety of 50%, which will cut it in half, and that essentially gives us a buy price for Uber of $12.97 per share. So there you have it. That's our intrinsic value all calculated for Uber. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit like, hit subscribe. If you want to watch some other videos, you can do so over there, or you can subscribe over that way if you haven't already. Um, but that's all from me for now, and I hope you have a great day. Cheers.